Let's sketch the derivative of this function. Looking for key points, we see that there's a corner at x is equal to minus 2 and at x is equal to 3. There's also a jump discontinuity at x is equal to 1. Approaching x is equal to minus 2 from the left, we see that the slope is 0. The derivative doesn't exist at x is equal to minus 2. Crossing over x is equal to minus 2, the slope jumps from 0 to a positive slope. From here, the slope decreases and approaches 0 when x is equal to 1. Furthermore, this looks like this could be parabolic, which would mean that the derivative in this region is a straight line. The derivative doesn't exist at any discontinuity. From here, the slope looks to start at 0 and decreases to a negative value. This also looks like it could be parabolic, so we'll assume a straight line for the derivative as well. There is no derivative at a corner. We can see at this corner the slope jumps from a negative slope to zero.